Hello survivors, it's your sister Soul Survivors. Happy Easter and happy Resurrection Sunday. I know from experience some families are going through some changes and challenging times around this time. Holidays are not always an easy time for some to celebrate for maybe losing a loved one or a loved one sick in the hospital or getting ready to uh, arrange funeral arrangements for their loved ones. But I am here to let you know that for those who don't feel like they, they, they can make it another moment, another second, another hour, that they feel like they want to take their lives because they just want to be with their loved ones, that is not the route that you would want to go. Go ahead and cry and grieve all that you want for the loss of your loved ones. It's cleansing. It's natural. It's purifying your soul. But to take your life, to join your loved ones, is not the route that you want to go. They will want you to celebrate your life. And you should want to. And live it to the fullest. Celebrate your life and enjoy every second moment, minute of it. I know the pain can be excruciating. I know from experience, this is um, a holiday around this same time last year that I was going through. And it was some excruciating pain to have to go through that first holiday without my son. But there is purpose behind your pain. You may not can see it. You may not want to see it. You don't even want to know about it. <clears throat> you don't want to deal with it. But it's a part of life and we all got to go through. Others are going through as well. You're not by yourself. I am praying for you. And what I encourage you to do is just to surround yourself around positive people, positive family, positive friends, co-workers. Feed yourself positive thoughts. Give yourself words of affirmation. You are good enough. You are worthy enough. You, you are worth living for. You have a purpose planted in your soul. There is purpose on this planet for you to live. Don't be discouraged. Don't, don't allow it to overtake you. Press past all the pain. God has got a purpose for you. And if you take your life or you disconnect, you will never know what that is. And the universe is waiting for your purpose to bring out to the earth, to show all, to help someone to get through. Whatever it is. I don't know what yours is. I just recently figured out mine. So mine is to encourage you to keep pushing on, to live your life to the fullest no matter what. Um, I know that my loved ones left me a jewel, a treasure here on this earth. And yours did too. Yours may not be tangible like mine's is. But your loved ones left you something to hold on to. Hold on to those good memories that they left. Hold on to uh, those pictures, the last time you celebrated with them. All the good times. Don't, don't hold on to the bad times. Don't reflect back on all the negative things that happened. Only hold on to the good, the positive, because that is what's going to help you get through. If you need to go talk to somebody for counseling, for help, trust and believe there's nothing wrong with it. Do it. Find something, a uh, good team, supportive, productive people to, to gather yourself around, to, to hang out with whatever it is. Do not isolate yourself. Get amongst people that care for you, love you. If you got to adopt a family, you feel like you don't have the family that supporting you. They're part of the problem. Adopt your family. You don't have to wait for them to adopt you. You can adopt them. There is so many things that you can do. Uh, 
write a gratitude list. Things that you are grateful for. Uh, I'm grateful for waking up. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for that I have food on the table, a roof over my head. Um, it is so many things that we can just feed our spirit and our souls and our minds with to get through this pain that some of us are going through. Uh, I am praying for you. I'm praying with you. And the best is yet to come. It is so many people that is pulling for you that you don't know that are pulling for you. Um, the best is yet to come. That's all I can say. The best is yet to come. Hold on. Hold on to what you know. Put some music on and just dance. Put their favorite song on. Put, cook their favorite meals, whatever it may be. Go outside and enjoy the birds. You hear the birds. You hear the water behind me. Listen to that. Isn't that soothing? There's so many things that we have to be grateful for. So let's hold on to the good. Release all the bad, the negative energy, the negative people. And uh, let's live our life to the fullest. Because our ancestors will want us to. Our loved ones is pulling and praying for us. And enjoy the ones that's here right now on this earth. Just love. Love as much as you can. All right. I'm your sister. And I am, too, a soul survivor. And you are, too. I'm pulling for you. The best is yet to come. Resurrect your soul, your spirit. All right. Peace and blessings.